Hello, it's Arit here. Welcome to another video on the Estetino Artist channel where we share all kinds of tips related to helping you grow your creative business. In today's video, I want to talk about creativity and productivity. And if you're watching this video, you're probably trying to find some sort of resource that will help you create more consistently, more often, or just get into the habit of creating, maybe increase your creative skills, all at the same time while being productive, efficient, so you can streamline not only your creative process, but also grow your business. Now, I'm a multi-passionate entrepreneur who has grown many different types of creative endeavors successfully more than once. So for example, I've taken my freelance design business to over $7,000 a month, working smarter, not harder. I'm also a performing artist who's released several albums and gone across Canada on tour. I'm a YouTuber creating multiple videos and resources for other creatives and has now reached over 7 million views and at the time of recording this video, 37,000 subscribers. I've successfully sold my designs on merch and Etsy. So the reason why I'm telling you all of this is because what I've learned, what I'm sharing with you in this video now comes from my experience and what I've learned. And if you wanna grow a successful creative business, you're going to have to structure your creativity. Now, before you flip out on me saying, those two words don't go together, structure, creativity, what are you talking about? Just hear me out. You really don't wanna leave your creative growth or your business growth, career growth to randomness. You really do have to set daily habits around the skills that you want to improve. And if you look at some of the people, some of the really successful creative people that you look up to, you can start to find these clues that it's really around structuring creativity and any successful creative entrepreneur can tell you that it's really all about 95% perspiration and 5% inspiration. So really what I wanna say in this video is you can't wait for creativity to hit you. It's not something that just comes to you. It can, your inspiration and creativity can definitely come to you, but if you really want to create a business out of this, it has to be something that you sit down to work on day after day after day. Pablo Picasso said, inspiration exists, but it has to find you working. And he stood in front of his canvas day after day, even when he didn't feel motivated to paint something, he still created one new piece of artwork every single day. So he essentially systemized his creativity. It's the same thing with what I do for filming our YouTube videos, our YouTube content. I sit down every Sunday to hash out all of my video ideas and what videos I'd like to film for Monday. So Sunday is an, you know, just brainstorming different ideas. Mondays is filming videos. Every Sunday and every Monday, same time every single week, I've systemized that creative process so that I'm not leaving it up to chance because let's face it, life happens and when you really wanna sit down to create, it's kind of hard sometimes when you have all of these other things happening at once. So you need to carve out that time in your schedule. You need to set an appointment with yourself, whether that's every single day at, let's just say 11 a.m., you know, set the day, set the time, and stick to that appointment. I'll give you another example. When I'm recording a new cover song in my home studio here to be released on my music channel, I generally have a system around the way that I do things. You know, I generally follow the same steps in the way that I prepare to sing that song, in the way that I set up my gear to record my vocals, in the way that I quickly do some easy editing, pulling up my Audacity software, and then sending it over, sending that song over to a producer to master it. So the creativity, the products, the, the work, the talent, comes out of having a structure of some sort. And of course, you know, if you feel like veering off from that structure because it's just coming to you and it's in flow, that's definitely something that I do all the time. But the thing is, is that when you sit down to create, it, even when you're not feeling inspired and just write down your first word, your first lyric, the first brainstorm of content ideas that comes to mind, whatever it is, your habit of sitting down to create actually triggers and elicits that creativity to pour in. So here's my question to you. How can you structure your creativity by creating a habit, a reoccurring habit, either a daily one 
or a weekly habit that gets you into that habit of creating more often. It could mean structuring your week ahead of time so that you've blocked off 9 a.m. every single Wednesday to create, to write, to film, to record, whatever it might be. It could mean structuring your environment. So actually putting your, your pen, your notepad, your laptop, your instrument, whatever that is, in a specific spot so that you see it first thing every single Wednesday, 9 a.m., and just elicits more of that habit or, or facilitates that habit to actually be triggered and to get started into creating. This is what's going to make you more productive, creatively speaking. You gotta set structure, you gotta set daily habits that you work on often, more often because the muscles that you consistently flex and work are the ones that are gonna grow. And if you're looking for a supportive group of creative entrepreneurs that will help you keep accountable, will provide feedback to you, answer your questions, please feel free to join our Facebook group. It's called Creative Business Success and we have an amazing supportive group of creatives all helping each other out in there. And of course, myself and Jewel are answering questions in there. So please feel free to join. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.